at IG Farms. We just got finished doing farm tours and kind of getting settled out here at the farm. And now we're doing a little project. We're gonna get some bricks and get these concrete, I don't know what you call them, panels, pieces <laughs> um, that we have. Just, just some reclaim material, some old bricks that someone was getting rid of. And we're like, we'll take them. And we hauled them off and um, those concrete pieces and so we're basically loading them on the boxway and then we already have the bucket of the tractor full of bricks brick pieces and we're gonna take them down and we're gonna um, kind of pave the front entrance of the barn I can have a strong back when I need one. Oh yeah <laughs> Pay the front entrance. Oh yeah. Pay the front entrance of the barn so it's not getting muddy, it's not getting wet. We really want to keep the barn extremely dry um, and do whatever we can to um, have some nice dry surfaces. As we enter the barn and for our animals, we did a lot of mulch, y'all saw that. Um, and so now we are gonna work on getting some paved surfaces with this reclaimed material. So we're working out here, making the most of our project time. Woo! Yeah, uh, these are extremely, this is a smaller concrete piece, but they are extremely heavy. And Tim and I were gonna lift them together. He's like, get on one side first and see, you know how heavy it is for you. And it didn't move, and I yeah I, I couldn't lift it. So he's like I can flip them over, and so he <laughs> he lifted them by himself. Gideon, no, no. It's our rambunctious blue healer. He does a good job hurting the kids, making sure they don't go too far away. <laughs> He'll hurt them back. Uh-oh, uh-oh, buddy. Oh, come on, get up. You all right? Yeah. Yeah. Woo!
to get this low in the barn and we just kind of spaced them out artistically and placed them here to the entrance here of our barn so this will be kind of like a floor so we'll continue to do uh we'll probably at least what two more loads uh two or three more loads in order to fill in all the gaps and then we'll come in either with quick creek or sand or something else to fill in the smaller spaces and make it all one cohesive floor so that's our goal with that and we're going to head up to the campsite to install our stop to tell the folks um, at Reed Town where to put our water meter. All right, so we winding down with this uh, farm day, and uh, we going down, as my wife said, to the campsite, to the top of the property or whatever, to put down some stakes for the uh, water for the water company because they're gonna come and install a water meter. So at that point, we'll have power and uh, water, so we won't be off-grid anymore, even though we won't have power and water back here. You wanna open the fence for me? Yeah, but we're just walking out the pig pen. See the mini barn back there? But now I'm working for a few hours. We were able to get a lot done, though, in just a few hours. Ain't that right? My wife, she always talk about how we get three, four days worth of work done. In, in one day, really in a half a day. We just compress it all in and work ourselves to death. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Say again? Yep, pretty much. That's what we do. That's it. All right, so old tractor did his job. Old four, six hundred. Doing us good. So we're going to lock up the pig, the, uh, pig gate down here, put a lock on it, turn the electric fence back on, and then we'll see y'all up at the top of the property up there. All right, so we made it up to the top of the property and we putting our stake here with our sign so they can know where to put our, our water meter at. And uh, as you can see, we, the farm site, where we were just sit back there with the pigs is way back there. You can see the cattle hollow right there. But all the way to the back is where we just came from. Yep, yep. So we had to run water pipes all the way back there. But yeah, it's going to be a blessing to be able to have running water. We don't have to haul water all the way from the city down here or whatever. So it's going to be a super blessing. As you can see, the camper is down there on the bottom of the pond down there. Yep, yep, yep. Water meter. Looks good. That just, made, that just made me feel like we got water already. <laughs> yeah. Let's put a sign. Yep. And it's done. <laughs> what you think? What What is having uh water down here gonna do for our farm? Like, what's gonna be the benefits of well, how it's gonna help us? We have to haul water back and forth from Jackson. We'll just have to haul it from here to the barn site in the back. So it it'll help. You know, um, I guess. I don't know what the word for it is. Maybe localize what we're doing mm -hmm. so we're not running back and forth as much. But when we come to the farm, we can be focused on the farm and do mm -hmm. farm chores. And then our farm chores don't start all the way in Jackson an hour before we get here. Mm -hmm. Having to think of everything and then bring everything here. And then think about doing the farm chores and doing the things here. So just to have, like, have that mental peace of everything's at the farm and when I get down there I can work everything exactly it's gonna be so much better than like literally you have to start the day before now <laughs> yeah uh, thinking about all the supplies and everything you have to have and we, are we gonna be in the truck or the van bringing it down and, and plan like at least the day before sometimes we're planning two days a week before all the operations like thinking about whether or not it's raining or, you know, is it too muddy to drive the truck back? So there's so many different variables now that we have to think about, so many different things we have to plan. Um, and in the future, we won't have to think about all those things until we get to the farm. So That's good. That's what I think. Uh, 
I love it, I love it. So hopefully sometime within the next few weeks, we'll have a water meter here. We'll be able to come on up here and have endless amounts of water to water our animals and put water in the camper and just do all the things that we need to do with water down here. So it's IG Farms, all about God. We're gonna hop in the car and hit the highway and get on back to Jackson.